Hello there, today we are going to talk about computer networks. We are actually on part one, which is an introduction to a computer networks. We will do a lot of videos on our computer networking and we'll go into, uh, into really the bone marrows of uh, computer networks. But before that, let us uh, begin with an introduction to computer networks. The first thing that I want to talk about is some uh, basic concepts on of computer uh, networks. We look into what is a computer network, uses of computer networks, computer networks models, and transmission technologies. So let us begin with uh, what is a computer network. I would define a computer network as a series of computers connected to share information and resources. Let's say you have 10 computers connected to share resources like a printer. That's a computer network. It's that simple. It's just a way computers share data or communicate. So it's a series of computers connected to share information and, uh, and resources. That's a computer network. And what are the uses of computer networks? We are all using computer networks nowadays. In fact, we are all carrying one or two computer networks in our pockets these days. All the mobile phones are connected to computer networks, including voice networks, data network, uh, Wi-Fi networks, Bluetooth. So all of these technologies create different types of networks and are connected right in, in our pockets. So we have networks flying everywhere these days, and we are all using computer networks on, well, on daily basis, I would say. Now, there are different computer networks models. Uh, the main ones are client and server and peer-to-peer. -peer. Now, what is a client-server model? Client-server is a model where different computers that are called clients connect to a server computer and that the server computer normally is more powerful and it does because it needs to receive all those client requests, process them and then send them back to the, uh, to the, uh, to the client, uh, send them back the answers. Um, an example that I can give is that when you go to the internet, and you open a web page. There are many different servers that are acting at the same time when you go to, a, to do a search. One of them is a web server. The client is that your computer makes a request to the web server, to the web. When web server receives it, processes it, and sends you back the, that page that you have requested, that's a perfect example of a client server. So you, you go to the internet, you know, you click somewhere. That is you being a client. And that web server that processes everything and gives you back, that's an example of client and server uh, model. But you also have peer-to-peer -peer model. Every computer uh, in this a uh, network model is kind of interconnected. Every computer is called peer, and there are no more clients, no server. Here, every computer is a client, and every computer is a server. So if you have your files in one computer, then your files will be saved in all computers in that network. And you'll also be able to request files from other computers and share them. So that's that's peer-to-peer -peer computer network model. Let us talk about um, a transmission technology. We have broadcast and we also have point to point. Now, this describes how the data flows in the network. One of them is called broadcast, as I've said. Broadcast is simply when the information is sent from a source to a multiple or to everybody um, in a specific range. That is called broadcast. A perfect example for this is when you listen to a radio station. Um, many times they say you are listening to a broadcast. That is because the main antenna of the radio station is transmitting data to everybody. Now a multicast 
is a subset of broadcasts where you are sending transmission to everybody within a group. So you are uh, dividing a target into a specific group or area. So um, in a case of radio station, you will transmit data to a certain city. That will be a multicast. You are transmitting only to a set um, of receivers, but broadcast well to everybody. Multicast to a set of receivers. Now, the other transmission technology is called peer-to-peer. -peer. I mean, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Point-to-point. -point. I, uh, I shouldn't mix up things here. The other transmission is point-to-point. -point. The first one is broadcast. We have seen that. Now, point-to-point, -point, this is much easier to understand. This is when you send information to a specific receiver from point-to-point. -point. Um, the other thing that I wanted to talk about in uh, introduction to computer networks is uh, network scale. We can divide our network or classifying our networks or network into different factors. One of the factors is by scale how big your network is. For example, you have a one meter um, a network scale. This is um, like a square meter. This is called the personal area network. You can see in the graph from the smallest to the largest network. As you can see, personal area network covers up to one meter. A perfect example for this is, is Bluetooth, for example. Uh, the second one is a local area network. This covers up to 10, uh, meter, 10 meters. In most cases, a perfect example is your home network. Just like now you are watching this video, you are connected to the internet. Unless you have downloaded this video, but if you are watching it directly from YouTube, that means you are connected to the internet through a router or modem which connects you to the internet and at the same time it connects you to your local area network. It forms a network in your house that is local and can be accessed only by computer in your room or in your house. Of course, it can be accessed by other computers, but that is a different subject. There is also metropolitan network. This covers a distance up to 10 kilometers, and they are normally for cities. The best example for metropolitan network is your cable provider. There is also a wide area network which covers up to 100 kilometers. Well, it could cover 100 kilometers and beyond up to a thousand kilometers. And of course, the most famous uh, on this is the internet, which covers the uh, the entire planet. In addition to uh, scale, you can also classify the network or networks by topology. Now, what is a network topology? Network topology, this is to say or describe how different networks components are interconnected, how they connect physically and how they connect logically. Physical topology refers to a physical interconnection of all devices in the network, how they are actually interconnected with wires and cables, while logical topology is the way that data passes through the network from one device to the next. It's physical. I just try to also summarize it here so you you you, you kind of remember it. Physical to if topology is a physical interconnection of all devices in the network, and logical topology is the way that data passes through the network from one device to the next. Now this is the end of part one, introduction to networking. In our next video, we will uh, look into much more um, network terminologies and also get into uh, the real deal. Don't forget to subscribe. There are more videos coming. And if you have questions, don't hesitate to ask. Bye for now.